Play to earn crypto games usually require you to buy an NFT and then once you buy the NFT you can also earn in their game and that's how most of the economies work. Now there are ways for you to earn for free in specific crypto games. There's a lot of those kinds of games, I'm here to cover five of them and also show you how you can find them early. Because the most important thing here is to find these games early because in order to earn for free usually you need to grind quite a bit. And in my opinion, that is fine. If you don't want to pay, you need to put in more time. If you don't want to pay and buy an NFT, you have it a little bit easier, but then you also have the investment factor. Now, whether you invest your time or your money is totally up to you. And also, you've probably seen this counter here. Yes, every time in this video when I say earn, 10 bucks will be added. In order for you to get this money right here, you just need to watch the video until the end. Let's see how much accumulates every time I say earn, and I'll tell you how to get it. So finally, after two months, we have a sponsor, and you know, guys, whenever I get paid, you get paid. I love and I missed doing crypto giveaways. With that being said, my name is The Inspector, you're about to be mind blown, and let's get this show on the road. First game we're gonna take a look at is called A3, Still Alive. This is an MMORPG, and you guys know I talked a lot about Mir 4 on this channel. This game is very similar, it's also an MMORPG, but in style, in gameplay, in character building, it is very, very similar. I mean, the freaking UI looks almost exactly the same. So it's worth taking a look at. Unlike Mir 4, it doesn't have NFT support, but it does offer you the chance to earn for free, just like Mir 4 did. So exactly the same as in Mir 4, you get their ore, in this case it's called the Inertion Ore, you convert it into Inetrium, which then you send to the Marblex wallet, which then you can exchange into cryptocurrency. So very, very similar to Mir 4, considering it is free, it is a dark fantasy open world RPG, they have dungeons, they have a battle royal mode, six different classes, unique playstyles, all in all looks like a very solid game, it is free to play and you should check it out if you want to. Now in order for you to earn this amount of money I needed to have a sponsor, so big shout out and big thanks to them, check out all the links in the description down below. Looking for an NFT project with actual utility? Look no further than Skult. Skult is looking to gamify video game streaming. Every streamer that is onboarded on the platform will have a set number of NFT cards. Those NFT cards will have different rarity and infinite non-NFT common cards. So therefore you can still participate for free with the common card. Those cards can be used for two things, to play games based on the streamer's gameplay and to participate in exclusive events created by the streamer themselves. The first game on the platform will be a fantasy league based on the in-game action of the streamer. So how many headshots the streamer gets, the kill-death ratio, the win rate, so it adds a whole new element to watching video game streams. Streamers' visibility will also be promoted through the Fantasy League's mechanisms. Users must always discover new streamers to enter new leagues. So not only is this very good for the viewers, it is also very good for streamers, especially the smaller streamers who now have a way to monetize their viewers. Apart from gamifying the in-game actions of a streamer, streamers will also be able to hold special events for card holders. Basically, Skull's goal is to help streamers monetize monetize their passions and earn a living off of what they love to do, while at the same time helping the viewers get more out of stream. So rather than just passively watching and commenting, you also get to play fun games and participate in competitions and earn special rewards. That being said, next game on the list is called Guild of Guardians. Guild of Guardians, another free-to-play mobile RPG game. It looks and feels like a dungeon crawler, but it definitely is an RPG. Players build their dream team of guardians and compete in a guild to earn epic rewards. Now, those rewards can be traded for real value, like cryptocurrency and NFTs. You will take your team of guardians through dungeons, you collect resources and you earn experience. Then you use the resources to craft more items and summon heroes which then can be traded for real money. So they do have their in-game currency and it is named Gems. Gems is an ERC-20 token, so on the Ethereum network, and players will be able to earn those gems 
for free. You must spend those gems if you want to mint a new asset on the blockchain. Once you have minted your asset with your earned gem coins, you can either use it in a game or you can sell it on the marketplace. So this one has a little bit of a different approach, whereas you don't necessarily earn currency, which you can trade right away for a different currency, but you can use their currency in order to mint an NFT and then sell it on the aftermarket. Why would anyone buy that NFT? Well, not all people want to invest time. Some people want just to invest money and those people will buy your NFT off you. This game is still in development and is set to be released sometime later this year. Now I told you I would show you how to find these games early and this is just my tactic. I go to the website playtoearngames.net. Now once I'm there, I have different parameters I'm gonna wanna set. First of all, if you wanna choose mobile games, you can choose it right here, you can choose Android, iOS, or you can choose web, you can choose a bunch of different things depending on what kind of game you really want to find. In this case, we're looking for a mobile game, so I'm going to choose Android. Usually all games that are available for Android are also available for iOS most of the time. Now as you can see you have a bunch of different parameters you can set here, a bunch of different filters, you can say you want NFT support, you can say that you want it to be free to play. In this case I want them to be free to play, so let's pick free to play. NFT support is not necessarily important for me at this stage for what I'm searching for, but then again I will also just look to the right side and just make sure that the game that I'm checking out does have NFT support because while not necessary it is a very nice addition to actually have NFT support and not just be played to earn with a currency, those can usually be pyramid schemes, but every crypto game can be a pyramid scheme, then again, every crypto coin can be a pyramid scheme. You can't really run away from the pyramids, so you just gotta be careful, you know? Either way, no pyramids if you're playing for free. So then the next thing I would do is look at the social scores. I want the social scores to be above average and I want them to be a lot above average. Looking at this game right here called Meta Run, this is the first time I'm hearing of it, but this is how I would find games normally. I would click on this game and I would see what it's all about. So it says it's built on the Unreal Engine 5, has stunning graphics, does have NFT support, 45 unique NFT characters, the game runs on the M Run token, and the virtual Opal, and allows users to play to earn. So there's not a lot of info here as to how you earn, I would guess you get this Opal, which then you can exchange into this M Run token. But in order to find out more, I would next go to their website. The website usually does have more information, and yeah, it does say it's free to earn, it is play to earn, PvE, PvP. It doesn't say exactly how you earn, so the next thing I would do considering this is a free-to-play game I would just download it try it out and see how you can actually earn in the game so then I would check out the gameplay online before actually trying it out to see if it's even worth my time in this case it does look pretty nice so I would download it try it out see if you can actually earn if you can I would just grind and see what I can make with it that being said I'm working on a new video where I'm going to play a game for 24 hours to see if you can make any money with it the game is free to play and it's called Nino Kuni I have reviewed this game in the past, but never really got into the mechanics as to how you earn. So Nina Kuni is a JRPG game, so a Japanese RPG, it is also an MMO. It looks absolutely beautiful, it definitely doesn't look like Mir 4, but it definitely does have the MMO vibe. In Nino Kuni, you get these Territes. Territes can be exchanged for the Territe tokens, which then on the Marblex wallet you can exchange into actual cryptocurrency. Or, well, the Territe token is actual cryptocurrency, but you can exchange it into any token you want to hold, any coin you want to hold. Now, Territes are not necessarily hard to get. But in order for me to actually make the exchange, I need something called Black Diamonds, which are very hard to obtain. So how hard are they to obtain? Well, you need to put in a lot of hours and you need to really grind in order to earn something with this game. Now, I've been told that you can make above $20 a day if you really put in the time and have a decent character build and you know how to play. And I've been told that by one of you guys, by one of the subscribers, so I really want to put that to the test in this video that I'm doing, in this hopefully what is going to be a series of videos where I play a game for 24 hours. Now, I'm not just gonna sit down and play for 24 hours non-stop, but I wanna have a play time of 24 hours in total. So I'm guessing I'm gonna play for a couple hours a day, record my progress, and as soon as I'm done with the video, I will upload it and show you guys how much you can actually earn. And now that I said this out loud, I hope other YouTubers are not gonna copy this. I don't think they are, they usually never copy the stuff that is hard to copy, they, they, they just do the things that are easy to do. So, I'm gonna keep doing harder and harder things so it's harder for them to copy my style, if you know what I mean. 
That being said, moving on to the next game. And apparently the last game on the list is called Titan Hunters. Titan Hunters, this game is inspired by Diablo. It has the look and feel of Minecraft, at least that's what they say to me. No, no game that is in this perspective can ever have the feel of Minecraft. Minecraft is first person and the third person looks horrendous. I'm a big fan of Minecraft, been playing since the freaking alpha version. I'm very sad to see that Minecraft has decided to block NFTs. Uh, Minecraft could be played to worm before that, now it can't, but this isn't about Minecraft. Anyway, let's get back to Titan Hunters. It's a unique gaming project that combines NFTs with the genre of MMORPG. It also does have the feel of a dungeon crawler, probably because of the camera perspective. So you can become a hunter and discover the secrets of the world, participate in battles, and fight monster bosses. So there's adventure mode and there's co-op mode. They have their own coin called Titan Hunters coin or Taita, and obviously your characters or NFTs. So the way to earn and the way to level up in this game is by fighting these bosses and you need to fight as many of these titan bosses as you possibly can. So by fighting these bosses, you level up your hunter rank. The bigger rank you are, the bigger the chances of getting rare items and more rare bosses. In the co-op mode, if you're the MVP of the game, you actually do get some rewards. So that's one way of earning in this game. Other ways include selling in-game items, converting token fees, and battling doing events, questing, you earn coins. But basically, as with any other of these free-to-play games, if you buy an NFT, you can earn more and you can earn faster. If you play for free, you need to grind your way to the top. If you grind, if you put in the time, you can definitely also earn. How much exactly? We would need to do a 24-hour series to know that. But if you want to earn this reward right here, you have to like this video. You have to be subscribed to my channel. Third thing you need to do is leave a comment in the comment section down below telling me what your favorite crypto game is. Once you've done all that, you go to your about section on your channel and you put in your address. Make sure to write in the about section what address it is. Is it Ethereum? Is it USDT on the Tron network? Just say what it is and if you get picked, I will send you whatever cryptocurrency you chose on whatever network you chose. The winner will be picked at random and I will announce it on Twitter. Thank you for watching, I'm out.